What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sequence. I'm your host, Trevor Plouffe, and today's episode is brought to you by DraftKings. Now, today, we got a strange one, and it's 2020. What do you expect? The Toronto Blue Jays, who are playing out of Buffalo this year, are actually the home team in D.C. So we have the Nationals facing the Blue Jays at home, but the Blue Jays are the home team. Got it? Okay, let's pick this one up in the bottom of the eighth. Max Scherzer is on the hill, twirling a gem. It's actually 0-0. Again, the Blue Jays are the home team. Joe Panic leads the inning off with a base hit, gets pinch run for with Anthony Alford, and Anthony promptly steals second base. Now, I'm trying to set this whole thing up. I want to show you how he gets the third base because it's kind of funny. So here, you're going to see Scherzer picking him up, and you're going to see Trey Turner run a daylight pickoff play here and watch what happens max spins picks up the umpire hunter instead of trey and throws it right at his head now that's not exactly what you want there but it happens because pitchers don't practice this enough so you're going to see here again it looks like max again just picks up the wrong guy throws the ball right at hunter wendelstead and trey turner knees him in the face it's a there's a lot going on here it's pretty funny but like i said this is how anthony alford ends up on third base. You're going to see a real close up right here. Oh, Max, you picked up the wrong guy. Trey, I'm going to knee him in the face. Boom. Okay. He's at third base. Now let's pick it up afterwards. Max is going to walk this batter and Daniel Hudson's going to come in to replace him. And that's where we're going to pick it up. All right, here we are. That's one out. Two, two is the count first and third. Okay. Like I said, it's a tie ball game. So the infield is in here. And I want to talk about some thought process as a middle infielder in this situation. You have Trey Turner at short, Starling Castro at second base. Typically, you're kind of playing this like two, three, four steps uh, behind the grass just in case a hard ball is hit to you, you can turn to. But they're really up on the grass. I think they know that Anthony Alford is fast. Teoscar Hernandez is also uh, can run a little bit. So they know turning to a play is going to be tough here. Uh, so they're in. Any ground ball, they're looking to get the out at home. Now, this is where it gets a little strange. This is actually a great read, mainly by Starling Castro. Trey Turner starts the playoff, but Castro makes the good read. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Daniel Hudson comes set. The Oscars up. You're going to see them both in, pinched on the grass. He hits a laser, and there's Turner, and there is the double play. How did we get there? Why is this special, Trev? Show us. I'm going to show you. Okay, they're going to show a little slow-mo here right now again you got to understand the runners where your position and how the ball is hit to make this play let's get to the slow-mo so you see where they're at right here they're on the grass okay now the thing that makes this play happen Trey Turner obviously makes a great play you're going to see it boom ranges to his left now that's the play right there Castro moves that way because the ball is hit that way. But as soon as he sees it, he realizes, hey, man, he's going to be on the ground. He's not going to get the out at home. Let me open my hips up, find the bag, and I'm going to call for this ball because we can turn two. Check out this read right here. Boom, gets it. Easy to play because the ball is hit so hard. But this doesn't happen unless right here you're going to see him opening his hips up and he's going to call for the ball. Trey, Trey, give me that thing. Flips it easy, double play. The Nationals go on to win this game, holding the score there 0-0. I love plays like that because it's not about just making a play like Trey did, but it's about the feel and the awareness of starting Castro to call for the ball right there and find the base turn two. So strange one, ends up working out for them. Great play on both sides. The Nationals win the game because of it. I love heads up baseball. And so do you now that you've seen that clip. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back next week with a special guest. Hope everyone's having a great holiday season. The holiday season is in full swing. And with the professional and collegiate football seasons entering the playoff push, DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rated sportsbook, wants to put you in the center of the action. If you haven't tried it yet, head to the App Store now because you don't want to miss what DraftKings Sportsbook has to offer. To celebrate Sunday's action, DraftKings is ensuring all new customers are covered up to $100. That's right. You bet they cover with risk-free Sunday betting on all 
of Sunday's action. On top of that great sign-up offer, DraftKings Sportsbook has special odds, boosts, and promotions every day of the week. Download the top-rated DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code JOMBOY when you sign up to get this can't-miss offer. DraftKings Sportsbook is ensuring you Sunday bets up to $100. That's right, new customers can bet this Sunday risk-free up to $100 when you use promo code JOMBOY during sign-up for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Must be 21 or older, must be physically located in New Jersey. Risk-free coverage paid out in site credits. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. 